Quite green, lots of trees. Quite hilly, plenty of cars, a few schools. Very moist, very humid. Moist. Uh, moist. It's moist. There's precipitation. Um, there's that much humidity. Things are just just moist perennially. Like it's yeah, it's quite quite interesting. What do you reckon is the average rainfall there? Average rainfall? Oh, I don't know. Bucket loads, I think. Bucket loads. Roiken Hills essentially in the the heart of Australia. I mean, you can't get much more Australian than Broken Hill. Broken Hill is a fascinating place to to see and and to discover and. Um, there are so many interesting things here. It's unlike anywhere else in Australia. Uh, Broken Hill is far west New South Wales. And when I say far west, I probably mean far, far west. It's about two days drive from Sydney. It's almost like any other Australian town. Nah, it's completely different, completely different. I think the real point of difference is the uh, introduced species of uh, humans scientifically known as sea groupers. They generally stick to the fringes of town. Interesting bunch. Interesting bunch. A sea group is when you're from away and you move to Broken Hill and then you live in Broken Hill. There's A groupers, B groupers and C groupers. An A grouper is someone who was born in Broken Hill. A B grouper is someone who has married into a Broken Hill family and a C grouper is someone from away. But I might be wrong, I might need to ask an A grouper. A C grouper? Well, it's someone who's um, not from here, or maybe even Australia, or maybe even, you know, Earth or something. And that's about all I know. We don't know too much about them. I think, I've won, I, think I am one of them, which is a bit scary. Well, look, um, I'm not sure if you'd even call them C groupers. I think they're off the chart, but um, they, uh, they certainly have a role in Broken Hill uh, in terms of filling positions that might not be filled by A groupers or, you know, those who've been a bit more established in, in Broken Hill. C groupers often come in doing work uh, as a dump truck driver or metallurgist or uh, just generally doing very C groupy things. So yeah, we're sort of out here and just looking at various um, metals. I think C groupers are really quite stunned to believe that there's a skimp dump, better known as the line of load, right in the center of town, right in the heart of it. The big pile of dirt in the middle of town. What up with that? Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean what up with that? <laughs> what up with that? What do you mean what up with that? What's going on there? What's going on there? Well, it's a big pile of dirt. It's dirt that's no longer needed, so it's all in a big pile. I don't for some reason, I mean. Explain it, why is it there? Explain it, why is it there? Um, well, it's there to hold up a restaurant. Is that where all the sea groupers go and eat their, like, sea grouper food? <laughs> they eat their seafood. That pile of dirt behind you, a lot of people know it as the line of load, but what people don't, aren't aware of is that that's actually a beehive, like a large beehive. It's huge, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, once upon a time, of course, it was. It was used in the mining operations, but as the city's sort of wound down, um, and um, you know, there's a less of an emphasis on on, on mining um, these days. Uh, it's it's got a great purpose, dual purpose, um, of being home to billions of bees. Yeah, as you know, about be aware, um, you know, there is a bit of a honey shortage at the moment, uh, and that's certainly worked in Broken Hill's favour because this is one of those real, you know, um, it's a hive of activity yeah, when it comes when it comes to uh, to. Uh, to honey production, and I mean, it's great to see so many people doing so well out of out of out of this industry, and 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 really putting Broken Hill on the map. I've never had Broken Hill honey before. I didn't even know that there were bees on the slag heap, which is probably showing my C grade gene. Honey is not easy to produce. I mean, you have to understand it's not an easy product to produce whatsoever. So, I mean, you have to you have to give these bees some credit. The bees do have a very strong union, the name of which escapes me at the moment, but um, it's uh, very... The Australian Honey Producers Union, the AHPU. Yes, um, the AHPU, they, they do um, um, a very strong union. We're traditionally in goat country around here. There's still goat-only bars in town around the traps. And 
often you'll see the goats in the middle of town just grazing away. Just to let you know, they're still around. They're still around. But in the contemporary context, it's more uh, your cats and bees that uh, rule the roost around here. Cats particularly. Cats particularly. Is the cat issue rife around here, would you say? Yeah, there's, there's a cacophony of cats in, in Broken Hill. Um, yeah, I mean, just last night I was on the phone to some fellow sea groupers um, and a cat that I'd never seen just strolled up to us in the backyard. I know there's one that lives outside Foodland, I think. Well, as a cat owner myself, I'm a little bit intimidated by, by uh, feral cats. How do we go about combating the problem? I don't know. That's, that's not for me to say. Cats are fine. I'm a dump truck driver. I like cats. When you settle into your uh, job here as a sea grouper, uh, I hear that uh, you're actually given an emu as a personal assistant. Every, every C grouper gets an emu as a personal assistant. Yeah, that's right. My emu's name was Charlotte, like the princess, you know, the new princess Charlotte. And my emu was actually a male emu. But the thing with emus and the why, like, I don't understand why they give C groupers emus as personal assistants as like this new thing for Broken Hill. Because emus actually make this horrible noise. I don't know if you know the noise that an emu makes, but it's like woo, woo, woo. So it's quite annoying, you know, you're like sitting there doing your dump truck stuff. What I do every day is pick up rubbish. And my fucking PA emu is sitting next to me, but it's sitting there like making this horrific noise. But no, it's a terrific place. Plenty of space to just think and the like. Actually, a particular activity on the weekends that all groups can get around is going out in the hill doing a bit of tractor painting just whip up a portrait of your favorite massey ferguson it's terrific stuff there's probably more tractors in broken hill than the normal town so maybe there's more people that like to paint them when i was growing up i never never imagined life on a slag heap you know you know in a remote town like this i never uh, never quite quite pictured myself in, in this setting, but I wouldn't give it up for the world. It is what it is. Hmm. One for the road, I suppose. One for the road. Yeah, I'll probably leave it there. There's plenty of roads around, out of town stuff, so. There's a lot of out of town, isn't there? There's a lot of out of town, yeah, definitely. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Thank you.